Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So, some cool things, right? While you guys were away, I finished adding a few extra floors to the house because I've had the Alchemy Mod installed for, I don't know, a couple of weeks now, and I haven't seen a new NPC yet. But now we have many. We have Jan Mare, we have Juhi, and we also have Lucas. And so high. So I'll go through them. I'm sure you guys are well aware of what this mod does. It adds a bunch of NPCs that do some, you know, shopping. That you can do shopping with. Uh, they will sell you potions if you've unlocked them. Certain little crafting recipes. Like, for example, if you don't want to go get some pixie dust, you can just buy it from here. And essentially, it just makes everything just a little bit easier. So Lucas will sell you some of these big ones. These are pretty cool. Look. So battle combination. That's pretty awesome. They'll sell for 10 gold. So it just makes life just honestly so much easier. Like it really, really does. I'm so happy to have it. Like if we come up to the top, there's two more. Juhi. This one just sells potions. This one is where I got all mine from. So that has made the combination myself. And then Janmir, which sells Horcruxes, which are pretty cool. A little reference to Harry Potter there. I don't know if you guys knew this. You probably know this. But I'm a really big Harry Potter fan. And I uh, and I, I forced my girlfriend to a midnight premiere for the last book, and I and I read it before the morning, and it was it was not great. Right today we are gonna do that boss, which I said we should probably get done. So we're gonna do a Brimstone Elemental. I was gonna spend the time, as you guys know, actually doing Plantera, but I have decided against it. So what I did was I set up an arena, and today's episode is going to be focused on doing that boss and that boss alone. Uh, today I've been very, very busy. I spent all day working on a brand new series with Python, which is now actually out. So that's really exciting. So if you don't, you know, if you don't get your fix today, there's a new series of Calamity Multiplayer on Python's channel. So there's a little shout out. And we'll talk some more about that as we go along in the episode. I've got some stuff to say. So, Chard Idol. So, I did this fight once. I've done it once in the series. And I did it way after I was meant to because it was added way after I was meant to. So, to be honest, I can't remember how the fight even goes. So, I set up, like, the most basic arena. I put some, like, campfires down. I put some uh, little mana stuff down. And I'm hoping that's enough because I honestly have no clue what I need to actually get done for it, you know, because it's going to be a bit of a, a learning curve, that one. So I need the Souls of Night, and I've already forgot. What do I need? But the reason I'm doing it is because we got an accessory yesterday, which was cursed, essentially. Let me go into my accessories tab. I'll tell you which one it is. I believe it's... Which one is it? Oh, is it this one? All right, so this is it. So, equipable material, cursed, question mark... 15% increased damage, but the curse is essentially a Calamitous will spawn every now and again. I don't know that for certain. I'm kind of going off of what you lot left me in the comment section down below. So we'll see. Oh, I didn't turn Auto Fisher back on. Right, there you go. Playing with a mod pack and then playing with another YouTuber on a mod pack is really silly stuff. I didn't even craft my thing. Could you imagine how ragey I would have been? There'd have been a lot of rage. Okay, charred idol. Oh, do you know what I've done as well? Look at this, UI. Woo! Zoom the hell out, man. Zoom out. So, I did start a brand new series with Python. I mentioned it before I left for my vacation. And uh, and I said that in return, Python would be joining us in the Fourier mod. He's a little bit busy because he is moving house in real life. But he will be getting around to that pretty soon, hopefully. And uh, and we filmed a bunch of episodes today, which was which was really really cool. Now I get this question a lot, and I thought I would kind of just maybe answer it and kind of discuss with you guys. This is not like my end all answer or anything like that, or you know anything set in stone. But it does explain a, a few things about how I handle collaborations and stuff because I think this is a uh, this is just something I carry with me, and I, I kind of want to speak about it. So I get a lot of comments, a lot of comments all the time. Uh, like, hey, Chippy, why don't you work with said YouTuber? And uh, the reason I don't work with a lot of YouTubers is because I'm very funny about working with YouTubers. I really need to know the person I'm working with. So if I don't know their, like, real name, if I don't know what they're up to outside of YouTube, you know, if I don't really know, know them, I don't like working with them. And the reason is because I kind of have to 
really connect with a person to be able to make good videos with them, especially if it's just more than one-off videos. Like, I've worked with a few YouTubers in the past, and it's been so forced that it just it comes off really, really bad. So I usually only work with YouTubers I really, really know, or ones I insanely respect, or ones that I actually watch myself, like ones that I am a fan of, who also seem to want to be a fan of me and want to work with me. So, for example, like, if Fury Forge turned around and was like, hey, Chippy, let's work on a quick video together, I'd be like, here's my number, Fury, gives a ring. <laughs> like, it'd be amazing kind of thing. But, for example, like, just to put it into perspective, like, I work with Python so much because, like, me and Python hang out in real life. So, that really, like, once you, if you can sit in a room and, uh, and play, like, I don't know, like, we used, to, we used to play Call of Duty Black Ops. If you can sit in a room and do that with somebody else and just feel like, I don't know, like, we're good friends. Um, it makes making videos, like, so much nicer and I think it makes a great chemistry. So, all of that conversation was to kill time. We are now here and ready for the boss fight. So, people don't complain. I talk too much. I try and do stuff. It takes time to travel. We're good. We're good. But yeah, that's that's how I work on it. That's how I decide, anyway. At least for big projects. You never know. And in the future, I may work with every single YouTuber under the sun. Who knows? Right. So, buff up. And we're going to wait until full health. We have a lot of health. That's nice. So, I'm using a combination potion and uh, a life force potion. Now, I can't do the math right now because I haven't, my brain is not in the right mood. So, I'm using Cadence and I'm also using, uh, let's see if this works. So, I'm using Cadence. Let me go through this. Can I use a life, oh wow, so you can use Cadence and life force. They do stack. That's what I was wondering about. Okay, let's begin. Awesome. You know what? I've just realized if this fight actually goes well, this episode will be way too short. So scrap that thing I said about this being about one boss, because if not, this episode is going to be weak. It's only like, it'll, it'll be like 10 minutes long, and I don't really want that at all. We'll find something else to do. It's just that I don't want to do Plantera today, because I checked, and I still don't have any Plantera bulbs. It's rubbish. And I checked that while I was uh, setting up for this. I don't know. I've had this in every series I've ever done. Like, I saw some people comment about this yesterday. Like, Chippy, you have the worst look. I do have the worst look. But we got some interesting comments about male and female pronouns because, you know, we were speaking yesterday about how, you know, some bosses are female, some are male. I don't know the difference, if I'm honest. I don't even, you know, try to learn. But we got some good comments. Some was like, Calamitous is a girl, but she spawns her brothers. Um, I made an opinion, like, I asked about eyeballs, if they're different between male and females. Somebody pointed out that males move faster, but, uh, females have, uh, different color gamuts, or a wider color gamut in their, in their retina, and I found that to be really, really interesting, so, that's pretty cool, and you guys were all correcting me on different ones, so, if I remember correctly, everyone is neutral, but Duke Fishrun is a male, and Plantera is female. So I hope I uh, addressed much of the stuff there. We got a few comments about some stuff to craft. I looked most of them up, and most of them seem to be at a slightly more advanced stage in the game. Like, I think it's just basically after Plantera, we can make, like, so much. So I think after Plantera, we'll definitely have to have, like, an episode or two just making stuff. And I think that'll be fun, because there's loads of stuff I missed. There we go. So that was pretty good. If I can chat casually while doing a boss fight, you know that I've, uh, I've bossed it. Right. So, let's see. Okay. Quick Gehemma. <laughs> what even is that? And a Brim Lance. That sounds awesome. 119 melee damage. 31% critical strike chance. Very fast speed. Very strong knockback. The spear causes Brimstone explosion on enemy hit. Enemies killed by the spear. Cool. Oh, it's, it's a cool spear. I like spears. I just don't think I've ever used a spear in hard mode. Other than when 1.1 came out, I used to use a cobalt uh, spear all the time. It's like the first thing I would make because I didn't know any better. Let's see. So that was technically not an enemy hit, right? Or was it? Where's my brimstone, boy? <laughs> okay. Well, we've got time to craft some stuff. So, um... So let's do that. So it's, it's not all about one boss. It's about crafting some stuff as well. Right. This makes the Void of Extinction. So, equipable. No longer cursed. Drops brimstone fireballs from the sky occasionally and a 10% increase to all damage. Brimstone fire rains down while invincibility is active. 
cool. I'm... I'm pretty excited about that. I don't necessarily know where it's going to fit in because I really like my accessories at the minute. And I didn't see a good, strong counter-argument for not using these accessories, but I will craft it up just so that we can, you know, knock it off the list. Bam. Void of Extinction. That's so cool. Right. You know what we're going to do? Me and you guys, we are going to look for a plantera bulb on camera together. If I get one, we do the fight. If I don't, we don't. Cool, right? Cool little bargaining chip. <laughs> I've had a I've had a very long day, but a very good day. I've been ever since I got back from my holiday, I've had a beautiful sleep schedule. I won't tonight because this will be really late. I record this, and you'll see it really late. You know, late for me. I'm I'm British, but in America, I always upload them. Like you guys have heard me mention this before, but I always upload them for when uh for the Americans around three four o'clock so that they can uh. They can enjoy it with, uh, you know, if they're getting home from like an activity or with their dinner or supper or tea, whatever you call it. We have arguments all the time in this household about that. I think dinner is like 12 o'clock, but people argue that dinner is like 6 o'clock. And some people go, well, no, dinner's lunch. And I'm like, well, lunch is lunch and dinner's lunch as well. It baffles me. It truly does. Okay. To the jungle we go. And we are going to explore it with a Spelunk Potion because I actually have all of the things I would defeat Plantera with now. So I hoping, I'm hoping, I'm real hoping that I get lucky just on camera. We'll see. I've made lots of, uh, lots of little, uh, shine holes. I said shine holes? Lots of little pathways and stuff. I'm going to take my generic route down and see if any have grown because I usually find luck going places that I frequently go. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I, I really just don't even know how it how it all grows out. And look at me, I'm using a spear. Okay, that's a life fruit. Now, I forgot, but I actually need to be getting life fruit. Not for my character, but you need a... Uh, it's a crafting material, right? Yeah, it's a crafting material. And you know what? I passed up on so much of it these past two days. Well, past three days, because I set up the arena three days ago. And I just left it because like, I'm done. I don't need it anymore. So, like a fool, I was... You know, what, I'm gonna buff up because I'm not I'm not dealing with these enemies. I just want to find my Plantera bulb and move on. If I missed one, you guys are gonna murder me in the comment section. That seems like a purple ah a purple glow. Oh, this is baller. Okay. See, it's in one of the tunnels I made. They're one of the tunnels. Look, I'm, you can see where I dug through. Oh my god, it's right next to my arena. That is awesome. Oh my god, that is sick. That is so cool. Oh, you know what? That's kind of made my day. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> Gun Arena, how about that? Look at me with all the dead memes. Um, Cancel all these off. And I'm going to restart them. Just because my health doesn't seem to be regaining as, as fast as I usually would think. I don't know. Does it seem off to you? Do you feel like I regained it faster earlier? Can't comment on that. Nope, 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 nope. You do not do this to me. Medusa, they nerfed you for a reason. Get out of here. Get out of here, Medusa. This is the one problem I always find with boss fights. You want to do a boss fight and then you end up getting swarmed. Come here, let's go into a little base. God, I'm so happy about that. I saw the glow and I was like, that's it. I was like, that's got to be it. Nothing makes that glow. Okay, I'm going to slowly regain health. You guys are getting raw stuff here today. Rawest of raw. Why is my health regaining so slowly? Am I the only one that's noticing that? Maybe I'm just mad, but it feels like it. Okay, let's get rid of some stuff. I keep wanting to use this. Look at me. I'm a converted man. Five minutes ago, so nobody uses these. Alright, now it's getting faster. Ah, does it get faster the... The more you have. I'm learning loads of things today. This is cool. Oh, snap. There was one thing in the Python, in my pre-recordings with Python, I looked at and I was like, we could use that for something. What did it use? Oh, man. I can't remember what it was. Oh, it increased your max mana permanently. That was it. We'll work on that tomorrow. If we, if we even can. I don't know if we can. Where are you coming from, Plantera? 
Okay, she's coming from the bottom. Okay. She. Okay. Right, so we go. So we go. Come on, Plantera. We go. <laughs> okay, Plantera. Right, so I don't know what Revengeance Mode does to this boss. Oh, I enrage it. Am I enraging it in the bottom corner? In the bottom right-hand corner. Are you guys noticing that, or is it just me? I feel like I'm enraging it. Or does this have a charge ability? I feel like... You know what? I'm not going to comment on that, because I can't even tell. I can't tell if I'm enraging it, or it's Revengeance Mode. Once again, I didn't look this boss up, because this is a vanilla boss, and I kind of wanted to keep the spoiler free. You know, there's, there's been... You know, I looked up yesterday, but... You know, up to that point, I've been doing pretty well at not spoiling it for myself. You know, when we set out in, a, you know, the beginning of the year with Calamity, it was all about lack of spoilers, and I've tried to, I've tried to kind, kind of keep that. Right, I'm not enjoying the second half, I'm not going to lie. But the good thing is, is I think one of the mods will now let you make a uh, Plantera ball, because I found one. Well, that might be after you've beaten it. Maybe I should beat this. <laughs> Maybe I should really, really try here. This is, this is hectic as out. Like, if I win, I win by fluke. I win. Booyakasha, won by pure talent, and you know it, Pickle Rick. <laughs> Hope you guys have seen the new episode of Rick and Morty that came out today. It was, it was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. All right, I didn't read the text at the bottom left, but I'm guessing it means that an astral biome is now here, or is an astral biome already here? Have I missed astral? Oh, it feels so silly. Okay, we leave before I die. Whew. Okay, open it up. Temple ca Oh no! You know what I just realized we had to go do? We had to go and beat the boss. Oh god damn. God damn, god damn, god damn, god damn. Who remembers that great song? Fawn Hook. Oh my god, look at my hook skill. Right, okay. Two pygmy. That means we can get the pygmy set, right? Right, let's go into perennial ore. Oh god, we've got so much stuff to look at. This is ace. We don't usually have an eventful episode like this. Right, okay. We are off back. We can fly pretty fast. So no jump cuts. Let's just go and beat the, the golem. Because I want to see if I get... Right, okay, this is the thing. I have a theory that you can usually do this. If you can beat Plantera, you can smash golem straight away. He is an absolute weak boss. He is so weak. Let me see if he's weak in, uh, in Revengeance, though. Like, that's what I want to see. I want to see if he's weak as out in Revengeance. Now, a lot of people may leave me comments, and I don't know about this, right? So, a lot of people may say, oh, don't do Golem straight away because there's probably tiers of modded stuff that you're going to miss out on. But I equally think if Golem's going to be such a pushover, we've got to stomp him to the ground, guys. Right? And we'll look at all things. So, now's the time to get your uh, weapon suggestions in because now's the time when we actually get to make them. My god, I'm so excited that Plantera is finally done. That was such a pain. You have no idea. I hate searching for Plantera bulbs. Because after you've defeated it once, they're everywhere. Like, it doesn't even matter. You're past 10. Just go in for a stroll. Right, so here's my theory. We'll see if it exists. Right, we just need a chest. Okay, there you go. There's our in. Okay, we got her in. I'm gonna dust bowl my way in. He says, ironically, knowing that's not the the real name. Okay, this is going pretty well. Oh, my health is so weak. All right, I'm basically dead. Buff up. Stand still. All right. If anything hits me, I'm basically dead. So if, if one of those little arrow things hit me, I'll just worm eater. I'm. Oh god, I'm so dead. Right, okay, we'll do a quick jump cut, guys, because I'm going to have to get some more potions and stuff. Quick jump cut, we'll go do it. I think we can smash it. I was just running in like a like a, a total noob. Did I just... Oh, okay, never mind. We'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. So this time, let's not mess this up. Going to buff up. I've got loads of buffs. It's basically maxed out. So I took the... Um I bought some of the packs, essentially, like, do you know the combination packs? I wanted to see how they, uh, they panned out, so we're going to see. I don't know whether this is going to be, like, a new kind of buff or a bad kind of buff. Okay, I died there. 
And I probably dropped a bunch of platinum. Don't you worry, guys. Platinum doesn't matter to me. Not at all. Okay. Ah, here we go. Whew. Right. Okay. Please. No. Oh my god, I'm such a moron. Get away from the spiky things, James. And regain some health. Okay. Right. So I'm going to sit here and patiently regain health. What buffs can I get rid of that I don't want? I'm alright with that. Okay. You have some heavy debuff immunity. Sorry, I'm really just reading this in. If you guys aren't like really close to your phone, you probably can't even read that. Essentially, all the buffs are saying, I'm boss and I'm going to be fine. Whew. Glad we got that one out of the way. Right, okay. I'm regaining health quite nicely. It's quite quick. This is good. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Okay. Alright, going well. Usually I would disable all the traps at this point, but uh Ain't no time like the present to uh to not do that. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I can't make it too I can't make it too hard on myself. Because I'm not actually that good. So what we're doing essentially guys is we're gonna test revengeance mode, uh Gollum. If I don't do it straight away, don't worry about it. Like this isn't a real fight. Like of course, if I fail, I'm going to have to turn it into a real fight. But I want to see if I can essentially cheese it. Like, I want to see how easy it can be. Because it is easy in vanilla Terraria. I think this is way too easy. I think Gollum needs a big buff. Like, I really feel like he needs a buff. Like, he should... The problem is he's limited by his arena. That's his problem. He comes with his own arena, and that's the problem. You kind of have to make him a stationary boss. But there needs to be a buff to him. I don't know what it is. Maybe just even rethink him. Not a fan. Why has he lost half his health? Where's half his health gone? Jesus, Gollum. You could have at least given me all your health. Right? I'm going to get it. He's probably got all his health. It's probably just the, uh, the checklist. Buffing out. Buffing out? No, that's not a word. Buffs are a good thing. Unless you're too buff, and then you just look strange. Am I right? Am I right? Any any gym lifters out there like me? Just kidding. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Screw that. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, Alright. Look at this. What do you guys think? Too easy? Too hard? I think absolute pushover. Please, somebody buff this boss. Poor revenge mode can't even save how bad of a boss this one is. I used to really like it too, and then it got way too easy. Look, you can just... It's too easy. Too easy. Open it up. We got some cool stuff. Right. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. We have some stuff to look at, but I want to take some time tomorrow to look at it in detail. Because if I read it out today, I'm going to be really bad at it. We've got lots of platinum. Lots of good stuff. We can bin a bunch of stuff. And it's going to be awesome. Right. Okay. Well, have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, wait. Before I go, if you haven't already checked it out, brand new series on Python GB very good friend of mine i would appreciate it if you did and if you've just come from his video and you've subscribed thank you very much you've all been awesome recently all right peace and that one's for real this one peace <laughs>